What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're taking a look back at 2021, all of our fails, all of our fun, and all of the fantastic projects that happened. Yeah, we thought it would be fun to do a little re video recap of everything that we've done this year. Well, maybe not everything, yeah, not but everything. at least some of the categories of things. And then we th thought we'd show you some of the things that were successful, maybe some of the projects that weren't so successful, and some of our favorite projects. Things, you know, when we make a project, we don't know how far it's going to go. <laughs> if we're ever use it again, if it'll ever <laughs> truly get finished, what people will think of it. So we've got some little recaps of some of those things too. So what did we actually do build or make in 2021? Well, according to the views, and that's you, our number one category was sublimation. Now uh, we went from setting up an Epson Eco Tank 2760 to make it a sublimation printer. We also did some Photoshop work. Teach you how to make some designs. We did some bleach t-shirts. We bleached some t-shirts, this was my idea. And we bleached them and then sublimated on them. That was such a good idea. <laughs> We also yeah. did some sublimation on whiteboards where we cut out the whiteboard using the Glowforge and then sublimated on it to make some door rounds. Those came out pretty cool. We actually had special requests to do those. And tumblers, tumblers are a big hot seller. So we did some sublimation tumblers, showed you how to bake those in the little convection oven. I was, was surprised really cute. how easy those were. Yeah, I love those. Like that and unlocked a whole nother level. Yes, it did, it did. Our number two category was the Glowforge. There was a lot of interest in the Glowforge and the Glowforge has quickly become my favorite tool. But the views show that the interest really lied in the first year review. So we had the Glowforge for, for one year and we did a, a nice lengthy review, kind of went over how we use the Glowforge. Yeah, all kinds of tips, tricks, lessons learned. So we used the Glowforge in so many different projects this year. We did porch leaners in the spring. We did some tiered trays, a couple of tiered trays. Yes, we did our lemon tiered tray and we did our spring tiered tray. We also did a St. Patrick's Day collage. That thing was really cute. It didn't, it didn't go far, but it was really cute. Uh, what else of did we do? Of course we did some door rounds with it. That is, that is our go-to. That is what we take to the farmer's market every Saturday, our door rounds that we make, and we make those with the Glowforge every week. Oh, and don't forget the giant 12 foot tall porch leaner. Yeah, I looked at you earlier when I said the spring porch leaner. I thought that's where you were going. Category number three was the Cricut. We did a collab with Cricut this year. First time we've done that. And we received the Cricut Maker 3 so that we can kind of show you some of the features and functionality of that Cricut Maker 3. And I love that thing because there's no mat required. Yes, that smart vinyl is pretty cool. We've been using the Cricut for three years now. Yeah. And it is a staple in most of our projects. I swear we use it for so many different things. You all know it's super versatile. Well, you can use it. Most of the projects end with adding something from the Cricut. Some sort of stencil, yep, yeah. that we've done with our Cricut. We've used the Cricut to do some screen printing. That was pretty cool. Yeah, you that was, multiple yeah. Multiple t-shirts. Yeah, that was early on, early this year. We did that, it was like one of our second or third videos this year. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that was pretty a pretty cool, cool little project. Yeah. We also made a giant farmhouse sign, six foot long. So we did a six foot farmhouse sign with a six foot continuous vinyl Image. word. Yeah. yeah, word. Words are words. Word. We love the Cricut. That was another big, that's a, you know, that's a huge crafting tool right now. Everybody needs a Cricut. Yeah, you gotta start with a Cricut. Yeah. <laughs> Category number four was woodworking. Pocket Saw and Brad have become a fan favorite, so they made a lot of appearances this season. Yeah, we did a lot with wood this year. I went back through and did a, I, we did more with wood than I thought we did because I feel like we've done so much with the Glowforge and the sublimation that I didn't realize how many wood projects we actually did. We made we started the spring with our raised planter bed and we put some flowers in that. I like, I like big buds and I cannot lie. That's what the saying was on it. We used our Cricut. And we went right into making our booth display because Farmer's Market was right around the corner. Yeah, and I'll tell you, we did the standing display racks. What did we call it? Like this farmhouse yeah, standing like mobile displays. Mobile farmhouse displays. I don't remember. But I will tell you, we still use those. We use them every Saturday. We have three of them. We've decided we need a fourth one. We got asked this past week if we're selling those. <laughs> we get so many 
questions and compliments and how did you make these? How do you make these? Yes, are you selling yeah. these? So we always send them to our DIY video, tell them how they, they can make it for themselves. But what was the next thing we went right into? Oh, uh, then we did the checkout counter. Yes. Our checkout counter. We still use that every checkout counter. Yep, still use it every week. Every Saturday. And we actually use the Glowforge to make our logo on the front of it. And because of that logo on the front of it, we have sold multiple signs to other vendors. They wanted their logo in that same 3D pop. We also did a farmhouse sign out of wood. That was a labor of love. Uh, it was the herringbone chippy paint. <laughs> yes, uh. we tried to show you a new cool paint technique, but then we went way overboard. It was so in, tedious. In engineering this farmhouse sign and that herringbone pattern, but I love it. I love that as one of my favorite projects this year, and I love the look of that. Rolling ribbon rack. Yes. <laughs> I still haven't added extra shelves. No, he hasn't, and I'm disappointed about that. But I will tell you, I love that rolling ribbon rack. A huge hit in our house were the tabletop games, where we did the little ring, the yeah. ring toss and the ring swing. Yeah, well, huge hits. we used uh, one of those round boards, right? Yeah. And then we just added hooks to that, and then we made the little ring toss game, and that's we made two of those, and they've been they've been entertaining. You would be surprised. We also did a giant coffin, really easy, out of pickets. Yeah, that was a really fun Halloween project. It looked awesome in our on our front porch, especially after we added those lights. That really was that extra thing. Yeah. And what else set that off? We were able to cut the letters and the saying oh, that's right. on the glow, out of the glow forge. Yeah. Yeah. And last but not least was the noodle board we just did for the stove top covers. That was a quick, easy, all of yep, our wood projects easy. have been pretty easy this yeah, year. We I didn't take a, on anything. I'm not a woodworker. Well, I have a feeling next year, 2022, guess what's coming back? We did it, well, what, last year? Was it 2019? Maybe it was 2019? Uh, In 2022, I think we're gonna make another bed. So. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know we were going there. That's surprise. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be making, so we're taking on one of those big projects again. Oh, yay. We haven't done any big ones this year. Like a couple of years ago, we made a chair. That was fun. Category number five, makeovers. We have to start every year with a craft room makeover. No, we don't. We don't know what's in the cards yet. <laughs> We have the last couple of years because we were flip-flopping spaces in our craft room, but now that we've moved in here, I think we're okay for a minute. I don't know, we'll see. He's already, yeah, I already know he's talking about doing this whole change wall it up. and something and brick, it's a whole thing. Yeah. So we will see about that, I get it. We also did my closet. We made my closet into a shoe showroom. We talked a little bit about Garrett and his ADHD and how he refuses to put the clothes in a dresser because once they're out of sight, they're out of mind. I can't see him. Funny thing is, that's what it's become. It's become a shoe display rack. The shoes he wears most often still are on the floor. Well, they're and the all clothes like... sometimes make it to the shelves. What? <laughs> <laughs> we also did a barn door this year. Oh, I like how you switched <laughs> subjects. We did with our new office space. We took a wall and actually put a walkway in there. I can't believe yeah. we, that was a, I was looking forward to that because we hadn't done anything like that before. Me too, until we hit the electric, then I was out. Yeah, well, we're pretty much electricians now. Oh so. yeah, I feel like I'm an electrician now. Yeah, I pretty much got that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we also did some one. reuse, recycle, <laughs> repurpose. Somebody gave us a frame they found in a barn. It was giant. I don't even know what it was. Just a, somebody at the farmer's market said, oh, you would love this frame. It's a pretty basic frame, but we turned it into something pretty cool. Yeah, it came out pretty cool. Everybody's favorite category are the fails, and uh, we've had plenty of fails this year. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite fail was the difference between concrete and cement. Oh concrete my gosh. is not cement. <laughs> As we started making these concrete bowls, sure enough, when we unmolded them, they did nothing but crumble in our hands. Lessons learned. Went back, used the cement, and came out with some, a beautiful project. We love those little bowls. They're still sitting in our family room today. We've never done tie-dye before. Neither so. of us have actually ever done tie-dye as kids or anything. Yeah, Where never. Were we? I've never what done tie-dye. <laughs> and I feel like technically I've still never done tie-dye. Not, not Garrett. <laughs> I did tie-dye and it was great. And I love my shirt and I wear it often. <laughs> 
I went a little off the rails. So Garrett decides, not only is he gonna tie-dye, he's decided he's gonna take it one step further and he's gonna reverse tie-dye. I was gonna put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. <laughs> UV resin, we are not very good with resin, and especially UV resin. We tried to make a mason jar look real using UV resin. Yeah, we took one of our door hangers that had been a big hit was our lemonade mason jar that said home sweet home. It was really cute. I was gonna take it to a whole other level. Yes, that's what he does, that's what he does. He's like, you know what we need to do? Make it look like it's glass. Yes, we're gonna make it look like glass. So we're gonna fill it full of resin, but then- It looked remember... less like glass and more like something schmelty. That one, that one wasn't, yeah, that one didn't really turn it's... out like we envisioned it. I'm not it. sure it's <laughs> cured yet. <laughs> We also, sometimes we're in a hurry, you guys hear us say, especially if you're a patron yeah. and you're watching a Patreon video. You know that we finish like Thursdays for a Friday video. <laughs> and so sometimes we're kind of in a hurry and here, what, not too long ago, so we did some table accents, whatever. We ended up with some spelling errors on the Christmas one. I don't feel like it's my fault and I'm still claiming the Santa Claus. <laughs> and what was it's it? too I close even... to Christmas. <laughs> So we had some spelling errors. That was a that was a project fail. And I, you know what I hate? I hate those ceramic tiles. <laughs> I hate those things. We have tried to use the ceramic tiles a couple of times this year. We used it early in the earlier in the summer when we tried to sublimate on them. No, nope, it didn't work. That doesn't work. We tried to etch on them. Yeah, just a few weeks ago, that we did work. some etching so that we could personalize these and make them ornaments. Guess what? That doesn't work either. Nope, does not work. We are done with. I want to. I want to use the ceramic tiles. There's so many different shapes out there. They're so cute. I feel like there's really something cool you could do with it. Smash them. We haven't yet figured that out. So yeah, done like with them. those for a while. I don't know if it's really a fail. I feel like it's more of a lesson learned but with somebody else's things. Yeah. Went a little high on an engraving on a, on a cutting board. <laughs> My friend, she came in saying, so if you saw our video on how to engrave, how to take a recipe and turn it into a digital file and then use it to sublimate or do some engraving, we engraved it on a cutting board. So the recipe was a little high and went off the side and we made a joke about it being, I hope this wasn't a family heirloom. And she walked right in saying, you ruined my family heirloom. <laughs> So she did bring us another, she brought us another cutting board. I was like, yeah. no friend, I owe I you owe a you cutting, cutting board. board. <laughs> so those were our fails. What are our favorites? My favorite is my closet, hands down. I love all the skateboards showcasing my shoes. Second favorite, my rad t-shirts. You would not believe how much I wear that t-shirt. Get a lot of questions. Does the sublimation last on that shirt? Yes, it does. It's been through the wash at least a million times. Those are the t-shirts we did that we did the bleach front on, and he put those two rad designs. He actually made four of those, two of each design. He gave two to our son, and he kept two, and the two of them wear them out. We do a lot of twinsy. Multiple times that they come in in the same t-shirt, laugh at each other, but still loving their shirt. Yeah, <laughs> nice shirt. So much so that our son's shirt is actually worn out a little bit. The collar is separating from the t-shirt where I guess he's pulled it over his head so many times. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but it's looking a little rough these days. But I will say the bleach has held up. It's it did. not torn where the bleach is. It's torn from wear and Tear. use, I guess. Yes. yes. So that's it. You got two. Two. I have two favorites. My favorites. I have a list of them. The problem with my favorites are I choose the projects that we do each week. So I like them all or I wouldn't <laughs> have chosen them to do as projects. <laughs> But surprise favorites, I guess, there's a couple of them. The surprise favorite was sublimation on dark t-shirts. We used that Easy Subly, and I did the Magical AF t-shirt. I like that shirt. I wear So it. much that oh. it's become her Sunday tee. Well, it's become a joke, because I did happen to wear it a couple of times on a Sunday, and they caught on. Now they joke with me, it's my Sunday shirt. So <laughs> now I try and wear it on Sundays, because it's an ongoing joke. <laughs> The other surprise favorite, we did this because I thought it would be fun. I didn't know that we would use it like we do, and that's our table toss games. I talked about the ring toss earlier, but one of the ones that we use most often is the round ring with the numbers on it. We just use it a lot. Uh, who knew that we would use it that much? So I'm glad that we made that, and I'm glad we use it. Couple more, couple more. Couple. <laughs> 
talk, talked about the chippy paint method. I love that farmhouse sign. I talked about that earlier. That's one on my list of favorites. You know what we missed during our woodworking section is our Christmas tree box. Oh, yeah. I love, love, loved that Christmas tree box. That was a good looking box. My friend asked us to make that for her. She was like, hey, can you guys do one of these? I was like, oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. And we'll totally. make it a video. And so we made it and then I didn't want to give it up. <laughs> she didn't. <laughs> it looked so good under the tree. I love that thing and I haven't made one for myself. Hopefully we'll find time at some point to do that. I Maybe doubt in it. the next year. We'll yeah. see what's in the cards. <laughs> yeah, it probably won't be until next year, but I love that box. It was really cool. Um, so that turned, that was a surprise prize favorite. I really liked, I said this earlier too, the collage that we did at St. Patrick's Day. Like the tiered trays, we took the tiered tray accents and put it in like a nine box collage. Yeah, and I, I liked thought that it. was so cute. Yeah, it kind of popped out. I, I liked it too. just didn't get a lot of interaction on that one. I think it needed to be bigger, like three foot by three foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then I think no. it would really catch the eye. No, but those were my favorites, and we had a fun year. We did, we had a fun year. And our fun year wouldn't be possible without you. Thank you so much. Thank you for supporting us. We have the best fans. You know, <clears throat> the thing about a YouTube channel is people can be ruthless. <laughs> And we've had a few ruthless comments. Well, Poor Garrett gets most of the hate. I've yeah, told you guys this before. I get some hate. It's okay. <laughs> but we have so much love. Most 99% of the comments that we get are yeah. positive. And we just want to thank you for your support. Thank you for watching us for this year. And I hope you stick around for 2022 because we already have a list of fun ideas for 2022. And I'm excited to keep going. Well, we are about out of time. So if you're not going to join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week or we'll really do it, build it and make it. No, not next week. No. Next week we have a new fun, we have oh, a fun video, right. a surprise video for next week too. Surprise video. Mm, that's a good one. A little sneak peek. <laughs> Just keep it at that. Keep okay. it at that.